950s. 950s. That's not how long he lived for. He called to Allah for 950 years. He lived for much longer than that. He lived for up to 1,200 years. Even more than that. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam. But 950 years was just calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Calling to Allah during the day and night non-stop. All this for the sake of pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's been narrated that the maximum narration it says that the followers of Nuh in 950 years did not exceed 80 people. 950 years and Nuh only had 80 people. 80 people. For the call of 950 years, 24-7 work, and he gets 80 people. Some narration even says, ten, uh, some narration says even 10 people. Some narration says even 10 people. The maximum narrations that's been narrated by the scholars is 80 people. Nuh did not get more than 80 people. 950 is for 80 people? 950 is for 80 people? And Nuh did not get them motivated? Not even one single day continued his da'wah work. Calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Take him as an example, ikhwan. This is the Prophet. This is a Prophet, a messenger of Allah azza wa jal. And 950 years and accepted what Allah Azza wa Jal had written for him for only 80 people to follow him. And this is an example for every da'iyah, that when you call to Allah, don't expect the whole world to follow you one day and night. Remember Nuh, 950 years for 80 people. And this is a prophet, this is a messenger, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had chosen to be the best of people in this world, and the best of people in the hereafter, and accepted 80 followers, accepted 80 people to listen to him. Accepted 80 people to follow him. Who will we compare to Nuh alayhi salam? But this is a great lesson for every da'iyah who calls to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not about the numbers and it's not about the results that you see. It's about the duty that you perform. It's about the work that you do for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.